founded by the Mission Fathers over a century and a half ago, San Jose had flourished the ever-increasing suburban life at its best. Inviting neighborhoods like these attract home lovers to enjoy restful surroundings, charming residential districts, well-kept gardens, moderate-priced homes, offer businessmen or industrial workers the convenience of a city home in country surroundings. Just a step from city to country, to the rich farmland whose fruitful yields rank Santa Clara County in value of its agricultural products as 11th in the nation. To gross an agricultural income of over $80 million a year, Santa Clara County ranchers practice scientific methods. Here, waving fields of grain provide winter feed for dairy animals and livestock. Cultivated pasture lands mean savings of thousands of dollars a year in feed bills to dairy ranchers and cattlemen. Lush hillsides provide plentiful pasture for healthy beef animals. Pure typify the quality stock which is a tradition with Santa Clara County cattlemen. Quality products pay dividends, too. Annual income from beef cattle is over $2 million. Descending from the hills to myriads of brilliant blossoms, pink and white harbingers of the fruitful crops to come. Blossom time in Santa Clara County means an annual pilgrimage for thousands of visitors who delight at festival of springtime bloom. Miles and miles of fragrant orchards, spreading in a vista of never-ending loveliness under sunny spring skies, hold promise of rich treats to come. Crunchy almonds, luscious cherries, sun-ripened apricots, mellow pears, purple grapes, and sugar-sweet prunes grown in the rich Santa Clara Valley provide superb fruit for the most Epicurean taste. Choice fruit comes from well-tended orchards, and scientific spraying means sound fruit. With a modern spray rig, a penetrating stream of spray reaches even the most inaccessible parts of the tree. Progressive growers invest in modern equipment for profitable results. Modern growers, recognizing the importance of planned operations, apply business-like methods to agriculture. Little wonder that in Santa Clara County, business keeps pace with industry. Santa Clara County's ideal climate makes year-round orchard work a possibility. Every spring, miles of orchard land are cultivated. During the mild winter months, growers carry on extensive pruning operations to ensure better crops and easier, more accessible picking. Harvesting fruit under ideal weather conditions makes outdoor work a pleasure. With an average daily temperature mean of 58 degrees, workers enjoy golden sun-drenched days tempered by cooling ocean breezes. And who wouldn't enjoy nibbling while he works, especially these juicy, mouth-watering cherries? Cherries are ripe is the keynote starting off the long fruit harvesting season. From orchard to cannery in record time, freshly to the cannery by speedy truck is ready for canning till duty fresh. And nutritionists say canning fresh picked fruit is an important way to keep precious vitamins. Health-giving Santa Clara County, the canneries humming from early spring until late fall. Santa Clara County's 39 canneries provide jobs for thousands of workers. Cans manufactured right in the county are available in a never-ending supply. 
Entering the canneries on movable belts as empties, they are filled, packed in cartons, and stacked in waiting freight cars, ready for shipment all over the world. In fact, the agricultural and industrial products of Santa Clara County, fruit, food, machinery, and tractors, reach a worldwide market. Readily accessible to local markets, San Jose is only 50 miles south by direct route from San Francisco. Connecting with Southern California points are excellent year-round highways. Daylight trains afford streamlined travel to points north and south. Incoming industries find desirable sites with space for future expansion are available on the widespreading outskirts of San Jose. Industrial opportunities abound in the Valley of Heart's Delight. Mild climate, ideal living conditions, agriculture and industry geared to a high level of productivity all mean better incomes and more abundant living. Many of the processes in industry can be carried on in beautiful outdoor abatement to distant ports of trade. To the harbors of the Pacific, the giant aircraft of Uncle Sam's Navy wing their way daily from Moffett Field Air Base, headquarters of Air Transport Service the Navy's airline. Within the entrance gates and adjoining the air base is the Ames Aeronautical Research Laboratory. Here, supervised by the National Advisory Committee for Aeronautics, aviation research is carried on. In this 80-foot wind tunnel, the world's largest full-sized planes are tested. Covering 10 acres of ground, this gigantic building is flanked by smaller buildings including high-speed and supersonic tunnels, flight research, and science laboratories. Operations at Moffett Field are centered in the administration building, which dispatches the movement of Navy passengers and cargo to far-off ports, Australia, Manila, Tokyo, Judged by aeronautical experts as the finest air base site in the world, it's evident that these sailors welcome an assignment to Moffett Field. And after hours, there's fun and friendship to be found in hospitable Santa Clara County. From the flight tower, plane movements are carefully regulated. Takeoffs and landings are cleared by its signal, and the constantly moving flow of aircraft proceeds forward. The land for this great flying field was donated by citizens of this area to the United States government. Education and progress go hand in hand, and Santa Clara County is well supplied with institutions of higher learning. The University of Santa Clara founded first as a mission school by the Padres in 1777, has the distinction of being California's first college. From the time of its romantic beginnings in the long ago past to the present, the University of Santa Clara has maintained a fine tradition of scholarly learning. Specializing chiefly in legal training, the university claims among its graduates men outstanding in the field of law today. In the cloistered quiet of the historic mission lies the opportunity for excellent training by the kindly Jesuit fathers. Stanford University, founded as a memorial to Leland Stanford, Jr., offers educational opportunities to both men and women. The Memorial Chapel, famed for its mural, typifies the architectural beauty of the campus building. 
Research projects on a worldwide basis are one of the outstanding contributions of this great university. San Jose State College, a co-educational institution in downtown San Jose, offers the A.B. degree in many different fields. Fifth-year work leading to the general secondary credential is also available at State. San Jose State attracts students from all over the United States and from Alaska, Hawaii, and the countries bordering the Pacific. This fine library is a mecca for students throughout the day. I'm out here. Pretty co-ed find relaxation between classes. Dominating the picturesque campus rises La Torre, the well-known campus tower. College life at San Jose State abounds in activities, from dances in the Union to college athletics, ranging from football to track, there's never a dull moment. Co-eds work hard and play hard. Even studying has its advantages, especially outdoors. Don't you agree? Excellent secondary schools offer basic training in skills as well as college preparatory courses. Intermediate and primary schools, well-equipped and well-staffed, ensure a good start for the younger generation. Congenial friends and wholesome recreation make school days happy days. Daily outdoor play in Santa Clara County's year-round climate develops healthy bodies. Sun bronze skin and sturdy legs attest the benefits of California sunshine. Major considerations with every parent are a child's need for a healthy, normal development, for well-chosen companions, good schooling, and desirable environment. Santa Clara County's fine schools and excellent recreational facilities provide all these things in abundance. Recreation for all ages is available in the county's many beauty spots. Six distinctive golf courses provide for leisurely activity. Unhurried play under sunny skies develops physical fitness and accuracy. Family recreation is a feature of famed Alum Rock Park. Providing fun for young and old alike are wading pools, playgrounds, barbecue fireplaces, and picnic tables. Over 23 miles of trails offer thrills on horseback or afoot. Outdoor pools attest the popularity of year-round swimming. Gay crowds spend carefree days splashing in the sunlit water or cultivating the delightful art of outdoor loafing. Fun, frolic, and sport are a year-round heritage in Santa Clara County. For those who prefer beaches and surf bathing, Santa Cruz is readily accessible the year-round. At beautiful Mount Madonna State Park, situated on Hecker Pass, appeals to many. Easily reached by car or bus, Mount Madonna's park rolling acres offer primitive beauty to lovers of nature. From the summit of Hecker Pass stretches a vista of tree-covered slopes and grassy clearings. Deer roam freely, nibbling grasses in the clearing, bounding lightly up the hillside, finding food and shelter in the protecting forest. Natural loveliness and the charm of unspoiled beauty is a reality in Santa Clara County. High atop the eastern foothills, commanding a sweeping view of the Santa Clara Valley, stands Lick Observatory. Directed by University of California scientists, astronomical research is furthered by means of the two giant telescopes situated on the mountain top. From science to spook.
Just a few miles from San Jose stands the famed Winchester Mystery House. Built by Sarah Winchester over a period of 36 years, it has 160 rooms and cubicles extending over six acres. In the belief that she would live as long as construction continued, Sarah Winchester kept the sound of a hammer going day and night. And so there evolved an intricate maze of upside down posts, unreachable closets, secret passageways, stairs without purpose, and doors opening into walls. To summon ghostly visitors, the deep toned chimes of the great bell told a midnight welcome. Far more welcoming to earthly visitors are the fragrant blooms of San Jose's Municipal Rose Garden, one of the few municipally owned rose gardens in the world. Hundreds of varieties of roses create a pattern of color, yellow and red, pink and white, against the grassy lawns of the five and a half acre garden. Romantic names recall memories of the valley's rich heritage from many lands and many peoples. Conqueror, Senora, Apricot Queen, Padre, Matador, California Gold, The spreading acres of this municipal garden are but a large-scale version of the thousands of home gardens scattered throughout San Jose and the communities of Santa Clara County. For in this county of home lovers, gardens really flourish, and job opportunities flourish too, attracting citizens who take pride in establishing a finer type of community life. In the path of the gently blowing, prevailing winds, these ambassadors of goodwill bow a greeting, promising an opportunity to realize the fulfillment of hopes and dreams in the valley of heart's delight. As a symbol of all the valley offers and an emblem of all it has in store, we pause at the greatest rose of them all, peace. 